about to go out. They are go now, and we are racing at the Hungaro ring for round seven. Yellow flags in the background, quickly pulled away. And that's a good start for Nesta Girolami to the outside, Janela Shea. Immediately on the defensive, does Girolami have the overlap for the run down into turn one? Closing, closing, closing the door. But there we see Janela Shea hard on the brakes, using the aggression and the bravery to retain that early race lead, squabbling further down as we look back from our race leader, Jan Alishay's car, the 155 of Marching Hua, in second place almost, but then back down to third again as Girolame retakes that position, a little kiss on the shoulder and how you do. Girolame pushed out wide and Marching Hua's got the elbows out, but Nestle Girolame not giving up that one as a few cars run onto the outside curb. Girolame, Marching Hua now racing side by side into the right hand as Girolame has to concede the position at long last. Marching Hua uses all of the racetrack and a little bit more for good measure, but job done. Second position is Marching Guaz, and now Nesta Girolame has more than his fair share of work to do to get back on terms with car number 155. Michael Ascona making a good start as well. In fourth position, Nova Mitchell is dropped all the way down into seventh place. This is on board with Girolame now as we come through the snake in the middle of the lap. Later on, let's look back now at Jan Elishe. Look how quickly he covers the line there, you see. Girolame almost into the rear of the French driver's car. Girolame davanti. This is from Frederick Verdiche's view, as we see again. Ma and Girolame side by side. Askara also interested. Girolame doing one way. Then the next doesn't find a way past the Lincoln coat all the way around the outside. That's not going to work, Sunshine. And Mikel Ascona keeping a watching brief in the background fancies his opportunity to buy into this one. But all of the pressure is applied to Ma now in second position. Girolame in third place watching, waiting. Mikel Ascona in the Hyundai trying to find a way to get on terms as well. While Jan Alishay at the front of the field serenely goes about the business of taking and extending his race lead. Lead. Little look from Girolami there, further down the running order. That is Victor Anderson on Dusan Borkovic as they go side by side. That opens the door for the come to you out to try and find a way past as well. Borkovic has to revert to the runoff area, but gets back on to the racetrack just about. One place gained for Victor Anderson. Now fancies another place as well. That's John Philippi, the man that's left out to dry on the bright orange Lincoln Co car. Dust being kicked up at the fourth round of your shot as everybody's using all of the track and more side by side still for Philippi and Victor Anderson. Anderson now will have the inside line in the MAGP machine. Philippi trying to tough it out around the outside. Dusan Borkovic makes it three wide in contact. Dusan Borkovic and there we go, that is Victor Anderson's car. Borkovic now turned around as well. Dusan Borkovic and Victor Anderson come together. So let's look again there. Anderson and Borkovic side by side, not quite sure. That's a big hit for Victor Anderson. Nesta Girolami on the inside. Nesta Girolami, the last of the late breakers, do or die. Takes second position away. Martin Gua pushed out wide. That opens the door now for Mikel Ascona around the outside. Mikel Ascona, can he get one? Can he get two? This is fantastic racing. Ascona gets the deal done and now he's immediately on the charge. And Nesta Girolami, a change at the front of the field. Great driving from these three and the podium is anybody's at this stage. Ascona half defensive, half attacking to the inside of the road. Marching Guard does not know what's happened. Two cars in one corner, some aggressive driving. Volt just dipping out of the slipstream of John Philippi further ahead, but Chicon not quite close enough on this occasion as Dusan Borkovic decides I'm not close enough, but I don't care. I'm going to go for it anyway, and that is a pass. Dusan Borkovic pass Michael Carlson. Carlson on the retaliation does not want to give this one up, but Carlson will be to the outside. Borkovic will have the inside line and the advantage. The two Hyundais side by side. Now Borkovic will run Carlson out of road on corner exit. There we go. Give each other racing room. Well done, Michael, Car Michael Carlson. As Dusan Borkovic, round two on Michael Carlson, job done again. Carlson tries to repeat it on the switchback, but doesn't have the run this time, so that is game set and match for Dusan Borkovic. A good overtake into T1. That moves the Serbian now into 16th position, so good pass. 
but now he's looking to make amends for that one. The car's back in the comfort zone, but Victor Davidovsky fancies his chances. A little nibble to the rear of the Honda from Davidovsky, and now to the inside, Victor Davidovsky, last of the late breakers, really late move to the inside through the penultimate corner, side by side with Ruben Volta. A little kiss between the two drivers as well for good measure. Davidovsky to the outside line, not where you need to be. That allows the aggressive team Italian car and Kevin Chicon to buy into this one. And Davidovsky from man of the moment to absolute disaster. Doesn't gain a position but loses one. check on, can he get back in terms with it? Can Davidovsky stay with them and make that a three-way battle for 13th on down? As we're looking now a little bit further up the running order, that is Ruben Volto saying, didn't have the pace, proves me a liar almost instantaneously with a very neat and a very clean overtake on John Philippi. Great move. Further down the running order, John Philippi loses two positions as we see a little bit of drama there. That is Kevin Chicon, that is Ruben Volt with the hazard lights on, so the Honda pulls off. The squad will now, though, is led by Chicon with Davidovsky. Round two, here we go again. John Philippi has got dispossessed, dropping down as well. Dusan Borkovic very quickly into this battle as well. Borkovic looks to the outside, tries to cut to the inside, wants the run off of the final corner. At the front of the field, everything just looks easy when you're in the form that Jan Ali shakes in. And today has been absolutely no difference whatsoever as your alarm is coming under a little bit more pressure now, but no doubt managing the car to the flag. So here we go then, Jan Alishe through the final corner, Nestle Shiralame, Mikel Azcona behind as well. This has been the seventh round of the Kumo TCR World Tour and TCR Europe. Jan Alishe with the chequered flag takes the victory for Sayan Rich, Lincoln Co. Second place is Bebo Shiralame and Mikel Azcona rounds out the podium finishers in what has been a superb, superb bit of racing at the front of the field. Fourth position goes to Martin Guar just after the race will be a very satisfying end result for the French driver and very much gets him on form. Thank you very much. Looks to the skies and to the crowd. Thumbs up and cheer. Big applause from the crowd here. And the winner, Jan Alishay, the biggest cheer, is awarded to our race winner. Great performance as well from the team.